For practice at self-check 5.242 while, we are given the following code and we need to um, change the for loops into while loops. We're going to start with this first one and we start with n is equal to 1. So before we go into our while loop, we are going to declare n is equal to 1. And we can get rid of all this and replace it with a while. Put a parenthesis right here. And then get rid of this uh, semicolon. And then move this n++ to inside of our while loop. So we'll take this and we'll paste it right here. And this is basically the equivalent for that. Next, we're going to move on to number two. And in here, we will take our int number one right here. We're going to cut it and paste it on top of our while loop. This should have a semicolon up here as well. And then we are just going to make all of this while and then a parenthesis. And then in here, we will get rid of the semicolon and then take our number, cut it, and paste it as the last thing in our while loop. We're going to do this for three and four as well. And this one has nested for loops, so this one should be interesting. We have a. We'll start by taking this part right here and pasting it in front. We'll change this to while get rid of this semicolon and this um, iterator has to be the very last thing in our loop so it will go below this print line statement for this one we are going to do the same thing where we take out this part put it on top of this loop changes to be a while move this over take our j plus plus get rid of this semicolon and paste the j plus plus as the last part in our while loop which will be in front of this bracket so it'll be right here lastly for this part we have int k is equal to one take this out paste this right here we'll write our while loop and uh, move this over and then take our k plus plus get rid of that semicolon and then paste it right here as you can see for loops are definitely a lot nicer than while loops for this particular circumstance. For others, it's um, while loops are definitely a lot easier. They're definitely circumstance based. Next, for the number four, we're gonna take our counts, paste it right in front, change this to a while loop, move this over, move that, take our count plus plus, and then put this right here, with the semicolon. And if we submit this, um, it says we actually already defined number. So instead of redefining it here, we'll just cut out the int and we'll set number to four. And then we've passed the test. So this is the switch for the code that was previously for loops. And that is the answer to practice it self-check 5.2.